assalamu alaikum welcome to nasir soft in this video we will talk about the bubble sort analysis its pseudo code and time complexity so first we will talk about the bubble sort how it is work so we have this array and it has five element and inside the zero index the element is five inside the one index the element is one inside the two index the element element is four and the three index and the fourth index the element is eight so i want to sort it in ascending order through bubble sort so this is very simple the bubble sort first compare the first two element in the first iteration and for example in this scenario if i talk about so one is less than 5 so these two values should be swapped okay and in the next after the swap the counter moves to the next element and the next then two element will be swapped and this process goes to the last index okay of the array so for example if I again redraw the array okay so we are here and first one two three four five so first two element the condition says that the one should be came first and five so these two values should be swapped that is one and then five and remaining item are at its position so okay so in the first when the first two values are swapped now our counter is here okay so now through bubble sort it compare the next two element okay of the array so here the 5 is greater than 4 so there must be a swapping between 5 and 4 okay so here if i again redraw the array So one is its position okay and the swapping between the next two element that is 5 and 4 will take place 4 first then 5 and the remaining item R is in on position okay so now our counter is moved toward the next element that is this one so in the is now it will check the 5 with 2 and if 5 we see that the 2 is less than 5 so there must be swapping in this with 2 okay if i again redraw the array so you see that in bubble sort the starting from the one in zero index okay we we'll see that zero to one and we move our counter if swapping occur okay so if swapping not occur then in the next step we so move our counter so this process continues till the we reach the last element our counter reach to the last element of an array okay so here if i say that one is in own position four is on position and the swapping between the these two values two first then five and the eight okay so now our counter moves to the next element uh, next index that is index three that is 0 1 2 3 and 4 now our counter is in index 3 so now we see that the 5 and 8 we compare the 5 index 3 to 4 okay so 5 is less than 8 so it means that it is in correct position so no swapping occur here so this is all about the iteration 0 okay you see that at the end of the first iteration sorry iteration 1 at the the largest element of an array is placed at the rightmost okay so we see that the array is sorted from the right end okay so this position is fixed now and we see if you check the one four through five two five eight the eight is the maximum one and it placed at the rightmost place so it means that through bubble sort one our first iteration is done first iteration means that when we compare the uh, consecutive values from the one to the last one okay we reach the last it means that first iteration completes then the last element of an array 
is placed is sorted and is placed in its correct position so now in the iteration 2 we start from the 0 to 5 okay not 8 so basically not the last index that is 4 so now we run our loop from 0 to 3 not 4 basically the, the reason is that the last element that is 4 index is already sorted so therefore now we reduce our 4 from 0 to 1 less than last okay so let's run it so at the iteration 2 okay if we again redraw the array okay we start from the here 0 okay this is 0 1 2 3 and 4 okay so 4 is already fixed that is 8 so now we run up from 0 to 3 so first we compare the first with 4 as we see that our counter is here okay and 1 is already less than 4 so no swapping occur and our elements are remain as it is okay so in the second one if I again redraw the array okay now our counter moves to here okay as 8 is already fixed so I not consider this one our loop runs from 0 to this element okay so 1 and 4 now in this example now 4 is compared with the 2 okay in the next iteration now our counter is here so 4 is compared with the 2 so as 2 is less than 4 the swapping must be occur here so first 2 then 4 and then 5 and now counters move to the next element okay now our counter is here so this is 1 this is 2 and we compare the 4 with 5 as we see that 4 is already less than 5 so no swapping occur here and 8 is fixed so our second iteration is also completed here and you see that after completing the second iteration the last first at uh, the first and uh, first iteration complete the last element is fixed and now the last two element is fixed it means that the 5 and 8 is placed inside its correct value and you see that at the end of each iteration okay from the last element uh, or the from the array sorted from the last one okay so now 5 and 8 is placed in its correct position okay so now we run our loop from 0 to 0 1 2 3 4 0 to 2 index basically 5 and 8 is fixed and our array is sorted from the last 2 element okay so now we'll run our loop from 0 to 2 not 3 4 basically 3 and 4 is already fixed okay so in the next iteration that started from 0 to 2 so again if I again redraw the array okay this is 0 index this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 as 3 and 4 is already fixed so we not consider this one okay so we are here our counter is here now and we compare 1 and 2 and you will see that 1 is already less than 2 so no swapping occur so in the next iteration our counter moved to here okay so now we compare 2 and 4 and we see that 2 is already less than 4 so no swapping occur okay so our counter moves to here now and this is the last one so no swapping occur so at the end of the third iteration the third last is already fixed okay so just understand the concept so now basically our array is now become sorted so this process becomes so that at the end of each iteration the from the last element okay is uh, sorted the array is sorted from the last one and from the last then one less than element is sorted so this is uh, the bubble sort okay so hope you will understand this is very simple bubble sort says that started from the zero and we compare the two elements and swap them if uh, the according to ascending and descending order and till this process continues to the 
end okay and the at the end of first iteration okay the last element is placed in its correct position so now at the next iteration we run our loop from one less than uh, last it's not last basically last is already sorted so this process continue till the whole array is sorted now let's see the bubble sort pseudo code so we have an array this one okay and this have the five element okay and starting from the zero it has the four indexes okay so for example the n is the size of the array so if we talk about this line so this line executed just one time okay this is c1 and this is only executed one time and the for that is started from the one to n and i plus plus it means that this is basically this loop run n time so the condition will check one time more than the n so basically for the false case okay so it will check that whether to uh, enter inside this loop or not so this is if i talk about it or this is c2 and its uh, constant complexity is n plus one okay one time more than n so the loop is work, uh, run n time so complexity is one time more than the uh, uh, the size okay the loop that is one so if we talk about inside the uh, for so this is the j this started from the one and the j is less than n minus i minus one it means that according to this loop if we talk about so its value is depend on the value of i okay so for example here if i read raw okay or create a table okay between i and this value that is n minus i minus 1 okay n minus i minus 1 and the for the value of n that is equal to 0 i started from the 1 so that is 1 2 3 4 and 5 okay so when i is equal to 1 then if we talk about this loop this loop will run the n is equal to 5 5 minus i that is 1 minus 1 5 minus 2 that is equal to this is i is equal to 1 okay 5 minus 1 that is 4 4 minus 1 that is 3 so when i is equal to 1 then this inner loop runs okay how many times n that is equal to 5 if we talk about the 5 element of an array minus i that is equal to 1 and minus 1 that is so 5 minus 1 that is equal to 3 so when i is equal to 1 then this loop run 3 times okay similarly when i is equal to 2 then this loop run 5 minus 2 3 minus 1 that is 2 2 okay so when i is equal to 3 then this loop run one time and so on so it means that if we talk about this series this series is like n plus one time less n minus 1 plus n minus 2 up to 1 okay so in mathematical expression this series is like this one n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so therefore if i talk about its inner loop time complexity so it is c3 and the value is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 so hope you will understand so if i go inside the inner loop this is the swapping code okay and this condition if i talk about the if condition okay uh, inside the if condition for example this one okay so this will run one time less than the outer four okay this is c3 okay it means that this time complexity if i talk about this is c4 and it is one time less than this one that is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 
वन टाइम लेस देन माइनस वन सिमिलरली फॉर C5, C6 सिक्स एंड सी सेवन सो सी फाइव सी सिक्स सी सेवन एंड सी फोर आर इक्वल ओके एंड सो ऑन सो दिस इज दूडो कोड एंड टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी इफ आई टॉक अबाउट द ओवरऑल टाइम कॉम्प्लेक्सिटी दैट इज टी ऑफ एन दिस इज इक्वल टू सी वन इंटू वन प्लस सी टू into n plus 1 plus c3 that is equal to n into n minus 1 divided by 2 n into n minus 1 divided by 2 plus here c4 that is n into n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 n into n minus 1 divided by 2 minus 1 plus C five that is similar of C four okay that is n into n minus one divided by two minus one or oh, similarly for C six that is n into n minus one divided by two minus one plus C seven that is also equal to the C six. That is n into n minus one divided by two minus one. Okay, so if we compute this, c one multiply by one, so c one plus. If I multiply the c two with n n plus one, so this is c two n plus c two. Okay, for the three, if I multiply inner term that is n square minus n divided by two with c three. so this will become c3 n square okay this is c3 into n square minus n divided by 2 plus c4 that is n square minus n divided by 2 minus 1 and similarly for c5 that is n square minus n Divided by two minus one plus c six that is same as n square minus n divided by two minus one and similar for c seven that is n square minus n divided by two minus one so this becomes c one plus c two of n plus if we multiply this one. That is c3 n square divided by 2 minus c3 n divided by 2. Okay. Plus, if I again solve this one c4, that is c4 into Minus two, n square minus n. Okay. Similarly for c five and c one. Okay. If you solve this one in more and more level, so you see that the maximum power is uh, in in this equation that is n square and then n and then c one. Okay. So it means its time complexity is like n a n square plus b n plus c. By neglecting the lower order terms, so its time complexity becomes big O of n that is equal to Big O of n square for the worst case. Okay, so what's so if this algorithm run from the best case, so the time complexity is so this one O n square for the best and worst case. But we can optimize this one, as you see that this algorithms. Okay, when the first iteration completes, the swapping must be occur. So basically, these these first these two terms compare, then one four, then one four two, then two eight. So if okay, in the first iteration no swapping occur, then you just set a flag, and based on the flag you will see that if no swapping occur, so it means that the array is already sorted, and you break the code. So if 
यू चेक योर एल्गोरिदम और डिज़ाइन योर एल्गोरिदम सो डैट दैन द टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी फॉर द बेस्ट केस विल बी बिग ओ ऑफ एन ओके सो होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड बट अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस एल्गोरिदम द टाइम कम्प्लेक्सिटी इज ओ बिग ओ ऑफ एन स्केयर फॉर द बर्स्ट एन वर्स केस सो होप यू विल अंडरस्टैंड सो दिस इज दबल सॉट सो दैट्स ऑल If you have any questions regarding to this topic you can comment inside the comment section or you can email me and email is mentioned in video description don't forget to subscribe my channel for more informative videos stay blessed have a nice day